Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Siri here again. And if you're seeing this beautiful face for the first time, please don't make it your last. Make sure you subscribe, like, because I promise you, you will love it here. So, we all know what's happening in Nigeria, Africa, the world right now. We're all going through a serious inflation everything is so much more expensive we have very little money wages have not gone up and we're spending a lot more so how can we cope in this hard time the solution is to actually grow your streams of income so if you if things are more expensive and you're earning the same amount obviously you'll be able to afford less things which means you have to bring down your standard of living but if you're able to increase your means of income or sources of income meaning you're earning more so you're relatively earning more than you were before so though the prices are going up you're still able to stay afloat so that's the ideal situation we want to get to you say but how am i going to have more streams of income i don't have much money my current salary is quite i'll say average to low so it doesn't permit me to get enough capital to start something so what do you suggest how will i do do not worry there's a solution to every problem i'll take us through step by step on number one how you grow some form of capital for yourself then number two we're going to discuss different ideas that you could put in place to actually uh, grow your sources of income and generate more money these ideas do not require you to have any particular skill it's not something you need to learn somewhere or um yeah something you need to be talented to do it's something anybody can do all the ideas can also be done by either students stay at home moms or a working class young person or older person whichever person you can walk around so like i said the very first thing is how do i grow my capital how do i raise capital to build these other streams of income we're all aware that in nigeria you can't necessarily have more than one job at a time not because you cannot but because of how um jobs tend to be here you either are working part-time or full-time and people that tend to work part-time also earn less so if you're working part-time you already don't even have enough income but we're looking at a situation where you're working full-time if you're working full-time monday to friday in most situations between 8 to uh, 5 p.m it has taken up the whole day and it's very difficult to find a second job which is like a an evening job let's say you were living abroad you're able to have like a day job and night job on a night shift most night shift jobs are either security guards and those kind of roles which are not necessarily the most appealing to everyone so yeah how do you make more money within the same 24 hours now we'll be assuming that your first job which is your main job earns you a hundred thousand naira I decided to go by a hundred thousand naira because this is just in between low income to medium income so let us assume that you're earning a hundred thousand naira if you're earning less than this you would just use the percentage i would be using for the hundred thousand naira to work out what you'll be able to get so i'll be using 30 percent as what you would aim at saving so if you are earning a hundred thousand naira 30 percent of that is thirty thousand naira so if you're saving thirty thousand naira every month and you have a target of let's say you're trying to raise because we're talking of small businesses you're trying to raise 100 or 200 thousand naira that gives you an idea of how many months you need to save that 30 percent so that 30 thousand naira for someone that is earning a hundred thousand you will save 30 thousand naira to raise 200 thousand naira you will need six and a half months whereas if you're earning less than that 30 percent of your amount you will calculate it to see how many months it will take you to get to the amount you need to start the business you may say but things are already so tough how will i be able to let go a whole 30 percent of my current income when everything is so expensive i can't even afford things how am i able to even save on top of that actually it's just about sacrifices i'll take an example of ladies or women even though things are very expensive, we still make our hair, we still do our nails, we still do so many other little things, which if you decide to forego, you will see that you're able to save some money. For that period of time, you can literally become a cheapskate, like a real cheapskate. Whatever you were spending on food, reduce it. If you were eating 
three or four or five square meals reduce it to one or two you're saving for an objective and so a short period of time let's say you're saving for six months all the food you have been eating all the enjoyment you've been doing going out doing this and that or whatever are the things you normally spend your money on you've been doing it for years and has not taken you anywhere so if you're going to just restrict yourself a little bit for a short period of time for a better benefit of yours i think you should take that option so yeah just put it in mind that it's delayed gratification i'm going to reduce my expenses right now so that i can save up some money to help increase on my in. so you succeeded in saving this 30,000 naira for the last six months and you have a hundred and eighty thousand naira. now let's talk about which are the businesses or the different things you could do to grow the sources of income the very first one i would say is POS business yes it may seem like why do i want to do a POS business well if we work out how much you stand at making very clean and clear um maths you would become interested in this so um everyone around you would know that if you look left you look right there's somebody doing peers because getting access to atm machines is a lot harder especially within estates and like if you're further away from a commercial area and we always need to withdraw money from our account for different transactions so you see that the average nigerian tends to use peers a whole lot and there's never enough peers now um, let's assume that you are a stay-at-home mom or you are a student meaning that you have enough time on your hands But if you're a stay-at-home mom and a student, how did you save from that? I would expect that you were saving the money from um, your allowance if you're a student or from as a stay-at-home mom Some have allowances some have like the monthly feeding money you use that to save whatever Money that is coming in use that to save now if you've saved that money and you are usually at home That makes it a lot easier you don't need a shop all you need is a sign at the at your gate or at the front of your house that lets people know that there's a period service here so when people need your service they will literally come and either press your bell or knock at your door and you'll be able to attend to them if you have someone staying with you maybe a security guard or a brother or a sister someone that is just staying in the house with you you can as well use them so for example you're going to work and you have like a sister or a brother that stays at home or someone that stays at home they can man the PS terminal for you someone you trust anyways now why is PS interesting for a transaction of let's say you're trying to withdraw five thousand euro they charge you a hundred euro you're trying to withdraw ten thousand is two hundred and so on and so forth mm -hmm. so you can work out that it, with a capital of between 100 to that 180 or 200 thousand error in a day you can easily make two thousand error if you're making two thousand error as your profit daily in let's say 25 days let's just say that there's some sundays where maybe you didn't um run the PS terminal or whatever so in 25 days that's 50,000 naira extra so you've now grown your income from 100,000 to 150,000 naira with just this means so let's say you want to even grow it bigger and you want to expand it maybe get an actual position in a commercial area that would involve you getting a space which you will need to pay for and getting a staff room you need to pay but if you're not trying to get all those extra expenses on top just doing it this way you have an extra fifty thousand naira a month and you've grown your income from just a hundred thousand to hundred and fifty thousand let's take it a notch forward another business you can also go into is food supply business so let's say you're good at cooking naturally you usually cook nice meals for your family when you have parties and events at home you're usually the go-to person to make food and people love your food and appreciate your food you can make flyers that you will share within your estate or just um, the in, the in, the environs so you would basically tell people you can make food in bulk there are a lot of single people and a lot of working class people that don't have time to make food and you can do like soup bowls you make a bowl of five thousand a bowl of ten thousand depending on the size and the type of bowls so you advertise that you can also advertise for smaller packs maybe two five whatever works for you you also look at like the environment you're living what the people can afford so if you advertise that all around your area and you're getting a few orders on a weekly basis here for example you're a stay-at-home mom or a student you easily do that but even if you're a working class um 
I don't want to say working class mom, but you shall working and you want to go into this type of business, you literally require that when they place an order, they should place orders maybe within 24 hours or you put the details that will be convenient for you. So if you know you have orders that are to leave tomorrow, when you come back from work, you would have picked up um, supplies on the market, made the food and then they will be ready to leave the next day. So it's something you can do even as a working class mom. And then you easily see that with a couple of um, orders in a week, you can make up to, I'm talking now of your profit, not total sales. You can make profit of about 10 to 15,000 naira every week. And if you're doing that, that gives you an extra earning of between 40 to 60,000 naira on a weekly basis. And you don't even need a huge capital to start this, your flyers, the um, takeaway packs that you'll be using, and then a basic capital for if you get a couple of first orders, you're able to purchase those food. So you will most likely you know, need more than 100,000 euro to start this business. Trust me, you need a whole lot less than that. So what that means is, let's say you started a previous business and it's going on very well. You can even add this food supply to it and you will now be having three streams of income. So you will have your initial salary that is 100,000 euro, previous um, earnings, like your profit on top of it at the end of the month, 50,000, and then another 40 to 60,000 from the food supply. If you add all of them up together, it's about 200 to 210,000 there. And it's really worth it. You've gone from 100,000 to that. So if you achieve this within a period of a year, so six months you run your previous business, you still save up from it and go into this other business. Within a year, you went from earning 100,000 to 200 or 210,000 there. And that is a lot more than what some people get a salary increment at work let's say you're earning that hundred thousand and you're seeking for a promotion most promotions are between 20 to 30 percent of what your initial salary was so you would just end up earning about maybe 130 or 150 whilst by doing this you've grown it all the way to 210,000. Also, don't forget that with this uh, inflation and just everything that is going on, a lot of companies are not even increasing salaries for their staff. So the likelihood that you'll be due for a promotion that will even make you grow your earnings from 100 to 130 is very slim. So if you follow this method, you'll be able to actually double your earnings in a period of six months or a year, depending on how determined you are. Another thing I would suggest you can do is start a thrift store like an online thrift shop you know that thrifting is the in thing now and if you're into fashion and you have a good sense of style it's a very good business to go into you can do this if you're a working class if you're a stay-at-home mom or just a student that has some time on their hands how Basically, let's say you're a working class. On weekends, you go to the market and source the items you want to put on your social media, most likely an Instagram page. And in the market, you realize that you can get a very cute top for a thousand naira. And most thrift shops are reselling that between two to three thousand naira. You can see that you've even doubled or tripled on the cost price. So let's say you had a startup capital of a hundred thousand naira from how you saved money from up there. You have a startup capital of 100,000 Naira and you buy um, goods for about 90,000. And you use 10,000 Naira for your transport, for initial data for your page. Let's say you, you use 5,000 Naira for that, maybe a week, <laughs> sorry, maybe a month or two weeks. So that's like your startup capital. You take pictures at home and all of that and you upload. If you sell off those items that you bought for 90,000, for double the price, that is 180,000. If you sell off those items for times three the price, that's 270,000. Now, depending on how quick you're able to um, sell them off, I would advise maybe you do times two. So you sell them off faster and by the next weekend or at most two weekends, you've gone back to buy more and you keep um, rotating it. You can see that you'll be able to grow your capital tremendously and i mean really fast imagine you were earning a hundred thousand and now from your business page let's say you're making those sales in two weeks you're selling off those goods of ninety thousand at times two the price which is 180 within two weeks so the profit on it is ninety thousand so if you do it times two that's one eighty thousand Let's even say you minus other costs and every other thing. Let's say one fifty. So you've gone from earning hundred thousand to now earning two fifty. So the hundred plus one fifty. That's two hundred and fifty thousand extra a month. The next one is 
um, food shopper or a market shopper what does this entail basically people open like online pages where by they advertise um foodstuffs on the market things to buy um they will share like let's say they buy a whole cow and they will advertise for people to share the cow so you know how if you go and buy like um beef like cow meat or goat meat or whichever type of meat that you like you go and buy it in cage or in smaller pieces it costs you a whole lot more when you know that a whole cow is maybe 200 300 thousand naira, and then you're buying meat in your house for like 30k 40k sometimes 50k and it lasts you about a month and it's just a portion like this at most imagine if three people share a cow of 300 thousand naira. that's 100 hundred thousand that means you're getting one third of that cow there's no how you go and buy that amount of meat for hundred thousand and sometimes you see cows of like 250 200 thousand even so a lot of people are always interested in buying um this type of cow so if you're running this type of business whereby it's like a market store on instagram a lot of stay-at-home moms or working moms or just different moms that don't have access to markets around them like this type of stores you advertise like tomatoes how much is like a big basket how much is a basket of pepper just the different things that nigerians tend to buy from the market and you make your money on top of it on top of that you can also arrange for the supply of these items to their home front you make another earnings from it so there's so many ways you can make money from basically being a market shopper for various people and because literally so many people are buying from you because like i said people are coming back late from work there's no time to go to the market if they know that by the time they are back home you've already supplied them like what they need for the week yams everything that is necessary people are going to um take up this opportunity and you can make up to 20 to 30 thousand naira a week even more depending on how big your following becomes and all of that in a week so that is an extra if you're making twenty thousand in a week that's an extra 80k a month if you're making thirty thousand and so on and so forth there's an extra one twenty thousand air a month so you can see how you're growing your initial hundred thousand monthly to nearing the two hundreds and even more in just a short period of time by being just um wise and making a better use of your fine bear in mind you do not have to be a stay-at-home mom to do the monthly um the market the, sh the market shopper business because you can do it on a weekly basis or you can do it twice a week you just organize yourself have contacts in the market a lot of times they will literally even call you the butchers they'll tell you they're about to kill a cow this is how much it is you just contact your people and just get things together all it takes is just logistics and you'll still make your money so yeah this is just some of the ideas on how you can grow your streams of income and increase your financial capital from earning a hundred thousand naira a month to earning up to 200 and even more in a month all it takes is delayed gratification hard work and more importantly smart work let us know in the comment section down below what are you doing to grow your streams of income what are the different things you're getting involved into i didn't talk about things like makeup hair baking because they actually require a skill and we're talking on just a basic ground you wake up today and you're like okay how can i earn more money i don't have time to go and learn a skill and this and that what can i do to earn more money and this is just some of these ideas if you have more ideas please let us know in the comment section down below remember to like share and subscribe to this video i'll see you in my next one bye